Charleston White explaining why he made him comments about T.I. and his son. Check this out right here. Uh, Talk about you and T.I. though. Let's get into that. Yes, ma'am. You scared? Scared of who? T.I. He ain't never been jailed for killing nobody. Why yeah, you scared of that didn't kill people? Yeah. Why yeah, you yeah. go in on, on, on that boy like that, his son? Uh, cause, cause I think his son ugly. And I think he's unruly, misbehaved. Uh, little yellow little boy. Uh, you don't like I, high high yellow people? You jealous uh, of high yellow people in their skin I, color? I ain't jealous of them. High yellow never been able to dunk from the free throw line. So <laughs> Zach Levine. I'm gonna be jealous of a high yellow. Before. I was getting ready to say Steph Curry, but he don't dunk. He really does three. Points. Can't jump from the free throw line. Okay, all right, go ahead. So go ahead. Oh. Uh, so why? Why? Cause you think that little boy ugly and what? No, nah, no, nah, I'm just with him. Cause they were with Kanye West. Uh, all the rappers like Boosie saying they'll slap Kanye West. Mm -hmm. Uh, Kanye Liz, you know. So, so I'm saying they with him. Let me fuck with them. Uh, and just so happened, uh, you know, uh, Ti son is in. You know, he getting in trouble. So I was just, yeah. just really with them. Uh, not knowing that they, you know, that they were responding to my words. Uh, you know, I was just high side. Uh, but since he act like he getting mad, uh, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna. Would you some more? If if Ti walked in here right now, what would you do? Oh, uh, he better know how to fight. Uh, so he put his foot in my. I ain't now one of them little girls. He tried to put his put his foot. In. Uh, uh -huh. That girl. That was <laughs> that, yeah, I ain't, he say yeah. I ain't now one of them little girl. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He got yeah. These niggas yeah, now. So there it go, man. Charles White saying that's the reason why he came at Ti in that manner right there. He was basically defending Kanye. You know, and the first started off with Boosie. And he expected them to respond. So, do y'all think um, he was justified in a t in going at them in that way? You know, I think a lot of people on social media, when you're growing, you don't understand what your reach really is, and you kind of get shocked when some people react to you. Because I know he done had things with people like King Yella and shit like that. You know, you don't think you'll have you know conversation with someone like Ti. So I know you probably was, wasn't expecting that, but there it was. But let's check out a couple of more entertaining posts, man. Okay, I don't know if it's just me or not, but after the second date, baby, it's time to pay something. It's time to pay something. Yeah, you took me to... <laughs> okay, I don't know if it's... Homie, homie said, fuck that. Your ass getting blocked. He should have blocked shit, man. Bro, talking about some bro. I'm about to turn gay just to save money. And this is fucking nutty. Nigga, excuse me? <laughs> hey, dudes be tripping. Like, you going too hard, bro. You going too hard. Too hard to impress niggas on that hate women shit, bro. Hold your horses and your dick. Keep your dick to yourself. But back to what that lady was saying. <laughs> Straight up, bird. No, no, no. The second date, you expecting someone to pay a bill after the second date? I get it. I get it. Being hyperbolic for the for the for the likes and the shares and stuff like that and the comments, I get it. You know, but go ahead and play your little character. You ain't finna go ahead and get me upset. Next story. Let me tell y'all something about Waffle House. I just became aware. This is what do y'all call this again? That's our favorites menu. This is a favorites menu, right? So, this is the real menu. Tons of stuff you can make. Wow. See, I always thought when you came in, you had to order from here. You know what I'm saying? That's a that small-ass menu, by the way. Okay. And I, listen, man, to save y'all some trouble, man, I feel some type of way. Thank you. Thank you. for. I appreciate you for letting me. Yeah, appreciate y'all. I'm tempted to go and ask for that damn menu at Waffle House, but shit, is that shit gonna come with a squabble? Me and my manager in a fight right now because bro gonna tell me I gotta make TikToks to promote my songs. I said, I'm out of ideas. Ain't no creative ways to do this shit no more. Bro gonna say, just look at Ice Spice. How the hell am I supposed to promote my songs like Ice Spice? He ain't gonna let you say when we go cut his tongue out. Niggas go spin any block to the sun out. Squeeze the trigger to that motherfucker run out. Check a price tag, car blanche for the budget. Fuck it. 14 carrots and a nugget. Fuck it. <laughs> Oh man, I've been meaning to talk to y'all about Ice Spice. Ice Spice is an interesting character, man. 
she began a lot of um smoke by her her music career she has that song munch out but twitter goes in on ispace how can i lose if i'm already they be going on ice spice ass because you know it's clear that she doesn't have that much talent but she does have a secret move <laughs> that she knows she rub on herself and she bend it over and throw that ass that's how she go ahead and keep people watching and you know if they ain't got their shit muted they may learn a word they may learn a word or two of her song so i don't know bro i don't know if that's gonna work for you but it's working for her because we are still watching um Next story. White people have We're all technically white. Yeah. If you're from England, if you're from Australia, if you're from wherever, South Africa, you know, we all have these crazy places we come from and these people are around and we get those ideas from those people. But that doesn't mean us as a whole have no culture. But as a white person, it's not really a culture. You can have culture like I'm hella Irish, obviously, and that's a culture. But the just being white is not a, it's, it's not a culture. I can't relate to you just because you're white. I think you could say that for any ethnicity though. If we were all black, could I relate to you guys if just because of the color of our skin? Yes, because they go through very similar experiences. Like they'll get discriminated against and you're not getting discriminated against because of your skin color. They can both relate to that. Mm, mm, damn. Okay, good point, my guy, good point. Although I can say that, you know, white folks are racist until proven innocent. <laughs> That's how a lot of people view white people. You're racist until proven innocent. So y'all could relate when it comes to that shit. <laughs> Next story. Man, they trying to trick my dog Kodak out of spot. So Shay Room usually does, does this shit where they take people wearing the same outfits. It's usually always women. And they ask who wore it better. Um, so they put Kodak Black with Saucy Santana. <laughs> And uh, they try to set that boy up, but Kodak is just simply responding, man, all lives matter, dog. Y'all ain't gonna get me. Won't get me. Fuck out of here. <laughs> oh, man, that's funny, though. That's kind of funny. That's, that's hilarious, dog. Check this out right here. Stop this today. I done went and did it on myself to see. No, I look like a damn fool. And so do you. Stop doing it, please. Go get in the shower, bro. You ain't no chalkboard. Like, I don't know why the y'all think this is cool. And I don't I don't want to hear nothing in the comments. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion. And my opinion is this a damn mess. Stop this. Okay, let's do a deal. Let's do a deal. You know, I don't usually I I, I don't do that. But Let's do a deal. I have a conversation with the fellas and we'll stop that shit if y'all stop them disgusting ass eyelashes. Or y'all stop them fake ass over exaggerated baby hairs. Or y'all stop wearing them old ass lace fronts looking like Wimbledon on your fucking forehead, net outdated like a motherfucker. We'll stop that shit when y'all stop that shit. Deal?